Matthew calls to Richard Arsenio ng Angels of Peace. Magandang umaga, Arsenio. Lumabas sa pag-aaral ng Asia, Devel ng Asia Development Fund noong 2005, isa sa pitong kadahilanan ng kahirapan sa Pilipinas ay dahil sa pagkakaroon ng kapansanan ng Pilipino. Sa 2011 report ng World Bank, isang bilyon na may kapansanan sa mundo. At sa Pilipinas, labing limang bilyong may kapansanan. 80% walang trabaho, 90% di nag-aaral. Kung kayo po ay mahilig ulit bilang senador, ano ang gagawin ng strategic policy para may nangat ang buhay ng tao ng kapansanan ng Pilipino? Pagkitang tanong po yan. Uh, sa, uh, sa loob po ng one year and uh, eight months ko bilang senador, actually meron na akong na co-author, co co sponsor, at naging batas na na bill na makakatulong po sa persons with disabilities. Pero isa sa ating do do with election kasi uh, electoral reform yung kumili ko. So, ito po'y bagong batas. Kapitin malaman ni President Aquino uh, mga one month ago. Ito yung accessibility uh, uh, in polling uh, precincts law. Uh, we, we are we, we are thinking outside of the box. Ang presinto po sa Pilipinas ay geographic ang paggawa niya. Pero outside of the box thinking ito, hindi na to geographic. Meron na tayong, you know, you know natin ang public to create special precincts for persons with disabilities and senior citizens na gusto sumali sa, sa special precinct na yun. And this precinct will be located near the entrance of the voting center on the ground floor with assistive devices and assistors. So at least uh, to make the, the right to vote to influence policy uh, more more uh, convenient and more accessible to persons with disabilities. Now, para po sa overall welfare naman po ng ating uh, persons with disabilities, uh, dapat po tutukan talaga sila. Uh, meron dapat laser-like laser -like focus on the problems of, the, of uh, persons with disabilities. So, since I have a math background, hindi lang po naman ako abogado, I'm also a uh, mathematician, pero scholar din po ako sa Ateneo de Manila, sa NSTD. Uh, hindi ako takot sa numero. Eh, gusto kong paglaruan ang tax, taxation natin. How to use taxation, the taxation system, as an incentive? Gamitin natin ngayon yun to help, uh, let's use the taxation system to give incentives to companies, to employers in hiring persons with disabilities. Paglaruan po natin yan. O, kanila, yung mga deductibility, tax, uh, tax deductibility. O, so, and then, of course, uh, scholarships. I, I, I'm a great believer in scholarships. So, uh, meron dapat tayong scholarships in ibang klase for the, for the brightest students. We should also have scholarships for deserving students. They may not be the brightest, but they are in need and they are willing to sacrifice uh, for, for their education. So, ganun din siguro. We'll have, uh, we'll have a special program, uh, scholarship program for persons with disabilities. Senator, kung scholarship ang pag-uusapan, napakarami ng klase ng scholarship, yes. and I'm sure you're feeling with that. Ang tanong dito, yung kasunod noon, dugsong noon, employment, dito sa mga sektor na sinasabi niyo. May plano po ba kayo dito? Yun na nga. Uh, pagla, Paglalaroan natin yung taxation as uh, not, not, not as the power to destroy, but as the, as the power to give incentives for employers to hire these uh, persons with disabilities. Pero uh, ulang lang kasi ako sa oras eh. Pag ako yung ma-re-elect talaga, tututukan ko yung scholarship program natin eh. Uh, let's, uh, let's strengthen math and science uh, scholarship. Palakasin din natin yan. Yung aking idea, for example, yung tanong kanina sa, sa UB. Well, sayang. Nagpusan tayo ng time. Pero dapat yung can afford magbayad, magbayad. 